Well, Mike and Karen, the school day here at Mount St. Charles Academy always begins with a prayer. Today, they prayed for the four former students and baby who died in that tragic fire. 24-year-old Nicholas Jilson, 20-year-old Dan Janik, 21-year-old Amanda Villeneuve, and 20-year-old Taylor Lackey left their mark at Mount St. Charles Academy. I mean, Nick, Nick was, a, was a very good hockey player. Uh, Dan was a very good basketball player. Taylor, she was a quiet girl. Uh, again, she, she was a hockey player as well. Amanda in, enjoyed life in, in her own way. I mean, all four of them did. They, they, were, they were lively young men and women. The four continued their friendship beyond the halls of high school. Dan and Amanda were engaged and had a seven-month-old baby named Annabelle. The group was spending the weekend at this Buttonwoods Avenue home in Warwick. They were asleep Saturday afternoon when the fire started. You don't expect young people to lose their lives. And when you have four of them that we consider to be our own uh, lose their lives at the same time, it's, it's all the more difficult to deal with. Teachers and coaches have reached out to the victims' families. Grief counselors have also been in touch with Mount alums, who are still trying to make sense of the sudden loss of their classmates and friends. I've been in the school for 27 years, and over the years we've, we've had our share of losses. But to say that you've had four young men and women uh, lost at the same time, we've never experienced anything like that, no. Now we'll have more reaction from Mount St. Charles Academy coming up new at 6, including interviews with coaches who knew the victims well. Live with the Mobile Newsroom here in Woonsocket, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News. Stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of this tragic Warwick fire. We'll have much more from that news conference that wrapped up just a short time ago coming up new at 6, as well as additional reaction from Mount St. Charles. And you can find more information, including past reports and reactions from loved ones, on our website, WPRI.com.